All right. As you can see, maybe, if it started recording in time, a guy in front of me is blinking out. Um, a lot of people blinking in and out. There must be a connection on the way to Boston that is either affecting a certain internet company or there's just a point from whatever direction all these people are coming from that is clocked up and delaying stuff. So seeing a lot of people drop out already because of quality issues i'm sure we're going to see more of that nothing iRacing can do about it uh, a lot of people think oh it's iRacing server's fault no if it was the server's issue all of us would drop um the internet works just like a highway and uh if the highway getting you to boston jams up or goes down uh, everyone on that highway with you is going to fall out, but people coming from other directions are not. So, quick little uh, how the internet yeah, works. Green, Please stop being focus. stupid. Uh, seen so many stupid posts lately on uh, the forums about stuff like that. Uh, as you can tell, I'm in a great mood, and here we are in street socks. So, let's see how this goes. Didn't start in fourth, but. Might be okay. Just got to get the car to turn and hope that people on the high side know how to drive off the corner. It looks like we've got some people that are better than the ones that were in practice. Now, I've got to finish sixth, which might be a tall order. Um, I did practice, but this car is just never been something that I could get hooked up right. So, um, once it slicks off, I might have a better shot, but doubtful. So, we're falling back to the last transfer spot. I am hitting a slick spot on entry, but that's really not causing my problems. Well, let's just go down to the bottom. All the way down here. As long as we're side by side, the other guy can't get past us. I don't know where this guy's going, but apparently he wants to now go to the bottom. And now we're out of the transfer spot. It's like another B main unless some people start wrecking for spots that don't really matter. Which could easily happen. Looks like the top side is uh, much quicker. But I screwed that up as well. Just this car, like I said in the last video with it, like the tires did not feel like they changed at all. Um, so new tire model really didn't do anything for me. I still feel like I have no feel or control with the car. And then having to essentially overdrive it really screws me up. And I suck. There we go. Didn't transfer. Going to the B main. All right, there's the ticket flag. Let's see how the next heat race goes. So fairly clean at least. I guess that's a good thing. Let's turn that one off. And we get a shot on everyone here. We still got one, two people out that haven't rejoined. So looks like I will be able to make the A. We're just going to have to do a very pointless B main. Maybe it'll give me some laps to figure out how not to be terrible. Um, question I keep getting... 
Uh, people wanting me to create a Discord. Uh, that's never going to happen. It's not something I want to manage. Uh, anyone who wants to try to ruin my channel, which obviously there's a couple of people out there that are mad that I um, call them scammers, could easily just post stuff on there in the middle of the night, make it look like I support something or something else and try to ruin me. And a lot of people don't know how to just talk about racing. Um, they always feel like they need to insert their beliefs or politics into every conversation. And I don't want to do that. I hate enough people just Green because they're idiots and can't drive. I don't want to have to hate people because they run their mouths about stuff that I don't want to hear. So, um, that is why there's no Discord and why there never will be. YouTube comments filter the stuff so that they don't show up on uh, my channel. I can easily block someone and uh, quickly delete something. And I don't want to have to manage another mess because I already have a lot of idiots that come on to the comments and uh, just, yeah, try to be, I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to be. I guess the internet tough guys. But uh, yeah, I don't want to deal with it, so that's never going to happen. Um, yeah, people that do have them have community managers or a team of people and people they trust. I don't trust anyone. Um, I've spent two years building this channel to where it is, and I'm not going to put that in the hands of someone else. Uh, you get a lot of companies and other things that have PR people that screw up and do something stupid and then they gotta apologize for them. And uh, it's not something you can afford to have as a small niche YouTube creator, especially when this tiny bit of money is really helping me out. So to me, it's not worth it. And I'm not really a friendly person. Uh, there's only a few people I talk to in the sim racing community more than uh, just a few emails or messages and uh, even those people I don't really talk to all that much because I'm doing this talking to myself all the time so I know a lot of people want that um, I'm not ever going to do videos where someone I don't know or trust is also talking in the video like Kenny I trust him he's smart enough and he doesn't say stupid stuff to begin with so I'm never like especially having a group of people trying to talk during a race that is never gonna happen setup wise I don't work on setups I don't practice for races so like pretty much 90% of what I do on iRacing is what you see in these recordings. Like, there is no practice, there is no anything for me. Um, I sign Would up for a race, and that's where I get my closed. practice Pit from. So, um, it's not directed towards anyone. I've just gotten that question a lot, and uh, hopefully it's understandable. Um, I'm not that friendly of a person either, so just... Like, why anyone would want to have a conversation with me, I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, just my thoughts on the world and, uh, Discord. Like, yeah, it's great, but it is so easily, like, it could just go terrible. So, not something I want to deal with. Here we are in the B-Main. Um, we should transfer, top four transfer, to three car on. race. If I find a way not to transfer out of this, I should shut down the channel. 
I could somehow end up flipping backwards ready, before the start range. finish line and getting a DQ. Um, that could get me to not transfer. But I think, I think we'll be okay. Green, green, green. There we go. We've led lap zero. Are we going to lead a lap? Am I going to do it in a three-car race? Just barely. So pointless. This is why I hate heat racing. Like, the system should know, okay, there's only three people on the server, and it's start time. Let's just advance it. Like, why we are wasting time, I don't understand. But gives me a minute to learn how to drive, I guess. Both of these guys could probably beat me if I didn't have the advantage of being in front. The only reason I didn't go to the back was so I didn't get in someone else's mess on accident. We'll see if we get stuffed into the wall for a race that doesn't matter. He's going to try, I think. I think they've actually made this car even more boring to drive. Probably just going to stick to short tracks with this. All right, we're going to lose this race, too. Two-car race, essentially, and I'm going to lose it. Guy's got a 1,700 I rating, just passing us in the middle. Don't really care. I'm not going to try to even get that spot back because it does not matter at all. And the race is over. Only 2,000 I rating on both of the guys, and they both would have beat me probably. And I forgot to turn that on. All right, a main time. 25 laps, 25 minutes. Is that correct? I just, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go back to lifting. Tried full throttling around the top, and that didn't do any good. So, uh... I know we're at the back. I mean, only way forward... I guess we could get 15th. I don't know. I'm just... Man, dirt has been brutal on me this week. But 
It doesn't matter. None of the numbers matter. And... Maybe we'll get some good racing back here. Like, from the heat races, it looks like it should be good racing, but... I don't know. We could have a 25-lap race, no cautions. Or everyone could just start running into each other, because now it's for the big bucks. The pace car is in. are going and middle of the pack is not even looking yeah I gotta get off this top side it's just doing nothing now that it's pushed up to the wall at least for me slap and try to learn some stuff find out how much of a mirror driver this guy is in front of me they are having a hell of a race up there for uh, fifth ish I don't know second through eighth three four wide clean so far well not clean anymore. Three car gets stuffed in the wall. That guy's going for a ride. I hope there's something to stop him. And it's going to be me. Alright. Luckily we phased through him. <laughs> really hard to tell where he was going to end up. So, uh, we have beat one person at least. I'm not sure we're going to get much farther. That was a crazy race, though, up there for the top whatever positions. Pretty much the entire top ten. Um... I don't, I just, I don't know. I don't, when it is so wide open, I can't feel where I'm losing out, where things are going wrong. One left to green. It's like my brain has a hard time telling the difference between 90 and 100%. Get ready, going green. Give me in that middle range, I'm good, and the can figure out in. where I need to be, how I need to drive, but uh, stuff like this just never goes well. Green, green, green. And the 12 car puts us 80 miles behind, and now I gotta back oh, off. God. So we didn't get a black flag. And I almost screwed that up. There's another spot. Spotter is pleased with that lap of being terrible. So we've moved up three spots. Single file restart really spread things out. This guy's making the top go, so we'll go up here and see what happens. I'm 
not really feeling anything. Let's just go middle. That is another car flipping in front of us. And uh, I think that puts us top 10 now. So two people have flipped in front of us. One has driven up over a tire. Uh, the tires are playing a big role in this. But that is 10th place now, and... Um... I don't know what this guy's doing. All right, so nine laps in, and still have no idea where I need to run. Middle line felt a little better. Top line is absolutely terrible. I can't run it. 12 car just ran into the wall under caution. Uh, so at least we're beating that person. We're going to accordion really bad here. car plowing into the five and now they're still running into each other off the corner we've already lost like four car lengths to everyone in front of us leaders are on the top side i just can't run up there it is not faster for me Got two sideways there. Just inching up a little higher. Just trying to find any little grip I can. We're not doing as bad this time, so that's positive. But I assume the 14 is going to start driving down. Give myself some room. We'll see what we got down here. Off the gas a little more, maybe. That'll make the bottom work doesn't really. Got the 9 and the 5 in the wall now. Not really looking 3 wide middle, just running the line that feels best to me. We got maybe a slide job up front down into the 15. The one and the nine might get into each other on corner exit in a second. He wants the top side, so okay. You fucking idiot. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed. Left up, 16 oh, that was too easy to see coming. Just some dumbass that can't control their car off the corner. Every time. It's not even that hard of a car to drive. This is like Talladega. All right, well, now we're in the back. I have to pass these three people that were really slow. Ten cars damaged. But 
Yeah, we don't have a whole lapse to do a lot of anything, so thank you to the 14 for that one. Trying to get three spots here. Get back to tenth. Because to go green, to as bad as these it. guys are on starts, I mean, we're going to be a mile behind. Dude, catch the hell up. I'm not starting a mile behind. Because the 12 is already bad enough. Green, green, green. Oh my god. You fucking idiot. How do you do that? How do you... <laughs> how is that even possible to lose it on your own at the back of the pack? Like, I couldn't pass him. This is the guy that's spun out in the B main, isn't it? <sighs> well, now we need another caution. working on it. Fourteen's blinking all over. And I can't even catch this person, so... We deserve to get last. Free spot there. We'll see what we can get with the 12 and the 10. out on track. Alright, well, we're not going low this time because I'm not going to get trapped by someone spinning their tires or whatever the hell happened, miss shift. Sammy's having a bad day. He's in the two car that was in the wreck. So, at least he was at the front. We have never been at the front, except for the B main that we still lost. All right, just going all out. We're wrecking for last place. I need to at least get back to a top ten. I 
said I was gonna say hi. Green flag, green flag. Can't even listen to myself and do what I said I was gonna do. Alright, let's see if a couple people run into each other and wreck out. No yellow flags from this point. I almost ate the tire. Bad exit, because I freaked out about the tire. And we get both of them. And we get an X. Ninth place. Well, that was a stupid race. Let's go see what all happened in that. Alright, so we're going to see three car. Well, that was interesting. That bump from behind shot him back ahead. This is when they're 12 wide. And three car gets stuffed into the wall. Loses four spots there. And that guy goes for a ride. Finds the tire, luckily. Otherwise, I think he would have wiped out a lot of the field. Yeah, four wide wasn't going to work. Not that he had any idea it was coming. Into the tire. We did hit him, but didn't get the incidents for it. Ten car into the 14, and he spins himself out. Okay, that's a slide job. That was not there. That's just how these people race, though. 17. Finds the tire. And 16 finds a tire, avoiding it. 12 wrecks himself under caution. Everyone's just plowing the wall. Sammy getting a little bumpy there. Did he get help? Thirteen just plowing the wall, wall riding. It's, it is so annoying to see this shit. Like, they don't even care. They don't try to do anything to discourage it. And there's the fourteen just being fucking terrible. First he slams into the wall. And then he somehow loses it and drives all the way down across the track, and I pay the price for it. What the fuck was that? This is the guy that won the race? I mean, big time simulation racing here. Absolutely stupid. Look at that, they're just all wall riding. They're doing it on purpose now.
Yeah. Absolute joke. I mean, he's starting to do it down the straightaway now. Look at them all just... This isn't even net code. This is just them doing it on purpose because it's not slowing them down. Except for now he wrecks, and unfortunately Sammy gets in it. Well, at least one of them got what they deserved. Not Sammy. I'm saying the wall riders. Let's go watch the final restart and see... Told myself I was gonna stay high. Didn't ended up having to lift, which I didn't really need to. Thought I couldn't see well. And let's see how these guys let me get past them, because there was no way I should have beat them. Especially with that corner when I almost flipped myself like everyone else. 10 goes to the outside of the 12. 12 drives it in too hard and they just lose a bunch of time sliding around and I get the spot. So, there you have it. Let's take a look at the results. Uh, I forgot to pull up the new UI. Sorry. Half the time I remember to join that way, the other half the time I forget that the new UI is a thing so that I can be happy in life. Get it loaded really quick. And... There we go, 26i rating, lost, gain safety rating, somehow... Probably because I ran the B-Main and the Heat Race. And I don't think I got incidents in that. Got ninth. Uh, did not have any fun. And now even seeing how the people that won it had to dri drive to win it. Um, what's the point of even doing this? <laughs> I. It's, it's a joke. Dirt racing is in such a bad place in a lot of areas and shit like that like we need a damage model we need something that is going to make people scared of a concrete wall um so that's a joke i mean they were all doing it on purpose there at the end so there you have it high racing arcade mode thanks for watching